welcome back to Cubelux Focuses on the Road. Today we're going to focus on the road. Same situation as episode two, headed home from the good job after a closing shift. God, I hate this whole thing. I hate this intersection right here. Give you the room you need to be able to get in this uh, lane. Getting into today was like a less than a few hours notice, honestly. I got a text or... No, I didn't get a text. My mom asked me like, hey, can you... Are you able to do a four to six today? today? And I was, and I like working there. So I did, and I tagged and shelved a bunch of merchandise, stuff that we got from a Walmart truck from the other location, because this is location two. There are two of this store that exist. And we got a bunch of stuff from a Walmart truck from the other, uh, from a truck that came at the other store. And it was stuff like, it was a lot of speakers, like a lot of audio speakers. Not really audio equipment, but audio speakers. And it was like Walmart brand stuff, not really anything that, uh, not necessarily the most high quality stuff, but for the prices that we're selling it at, it's not bad. Like you can get a waterproof speaker for $8. Like waterproof speaker for $8? That's not terrible at all. Listen to my jams in the shower. Like for daily use like that, that would be amazing. Not that I'm the man that likes using the Bluetooth protocol in the first place, but that's a personal gripe I have with wireless connection in general is that, uh, not as consistent, but I mean, that's something that we're learning about in class right now. They're, I, they're working on the, apparently there's going to be an update to Bluetooth, to the whole Bluetooth protocol in general, that if you set it up correctly, will allow you to connect multiple devices to one device. So you can do like a speaker and like a projector or something, I don't know. And I'm thinking about it like, that would be cool as hell. Cause like if you do a projector and then like two speakers, you can get like stereo audio in a movie. But the thing I'm thinking about there is like, Bluetooth has a latency, right? Bluetooth has latency. The bus in front of me. Bluetooth has latency. So I don't, it would probably be all off sync. Like one speaker would be ahead of the other and the projector would be ahead or behind of both or something along those lines. But if they can figure out all those latency kinks, get them all surfaced out, maybe it wouldn't be a big deal. Maybe it would just be awesome. Cause that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Think about it. Think about how portable that would be and everything just connects wirelessly. Like that'd be fantastic. The problem is that that's not how wireless connections work. There is latency, there always will be latency. That's why people tell you, that's why people tell players of fighting games to go on a wired connection on ethernet or do ethernet over power or something that isn't fucking Wi-Fi. Which uh, I respect it. As somebody who's uh, doing a technical course right now, everything makes sense. All of it is uh, exactly what you uh, should be doing. I will say though, one of the question, one of the like example questions that we were asked for going over exam stuff and it was purposefully difficult but the assumed correct answer had us going and plugging up a hundred different computers on the same network to uh ethernet over power which is just phenomenally just a terrible idea like it de like depending on how your place is set up it's not even going to work very well for one person it's very hit and miss, depending on where you, what, how your house is built. But to imagine like a hundred people on the exact same, like that's equivalent to using a hub. That's equivalent to using like a hundred people in one hub. Imagine how many fucking conflicts you run into. You'd be freaking running into conflicts. <laughs> I've made it to my destination and that's because I focused on the road and you should too.